Oh, well, my. you look like you're behind bars. I am. I can Really, you look like you are in prison uh -huh. when I do this. And then when I do this, he just looks like he's standing beside me. Unfortunately, the bars he's usually behind are not the same <laughs> now, as... Now, just a minute, <laughs> Mr. <I've> Johnson. <laughs> pouring out that devil's brew <clears throat> constantly. Oh, but you know, milk. Oh, I love oh, it. I yes. love milk. Uh -huh. If you believe that, you'll believe that bears can fly. What are we doing today? <laughs> well, I'm just here? trying to maintain. I don't know, but I think the witch is going to come down and tell us all about... Oh. Doris is over there playing with her food. That She's real nervous me... today. Uh -huh. She's very nervous. I don't know what it is. She just hardly has had uh, time to even talk today. She's been just nervous as a chicken on a hot plate. Uh -huh. She's just playing with it over there. Well, let's see. Dear boys, I have been throwing stale bread to the birds for years. It right. really seems they have appreciated it, but last night I found out otherwise. Oh, no. I had gone out for a short walk when I was attacked by a flock of starlings. They pecked me and did many other things to me that I can't even say on your family show. <laughs> the bottom line is they want fresh bread and something else besides plain white. Oh, they're getting picky. I'm scared. Can you help me? And it's signed Lenore Raven of Poe Valley, New Hampshire. <laughs> well. Lenore, we'll do our best. We're we, going to do some sort of breads today. Yeah. And what kind are you doing? I'm doing the strangest thing I've ever seen. Some kind of little cottage cheese flapjacks. Oh. It's well, true. I hope they'll be good. And I'm doing Amanda's uh, banana bread. And I'll have to put on my peepers to see who's This was sent in. in by Gladys McGillicuddy. No, wait a minute. McCunney of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And mine's from Philadelphia, too, from all our fans up there. And it's Brenda's Banana Bread from Brenda Goldstein. And it is a easy, easy recipe. These are called featherweight pancakes, but Ooh. you know they don't have any feathers in them at all. Oh, I'm real disappointed. I'd gone out and plucked the chicken and got ready to fix these pancakes. And then... Uh, uh, Miss Thang is going to do quick pineapple nut bread when she comes in. All right, but you know, I want to ask her something. By Mitzi of Trooper, Pennsylvania. That's an yeah. interesting name. Doris, come here. Come over here, Doris. I don't know. Now, this you're is doing, unexpected. You know, I don't get paid for using the mic twice now, in one show. Now, you're doing, I'm doing banana bread, and you're doing pineapple bread. Where would you serve this? That's or when? what I was trying <laughs> to figure out, how you serve some of these things. Well, a banana, a banana bread, I like it for breakfast. Uh, you know, with, uh, with butter or something on it, which you're not supposed to put on it. But I don't know what you do with this pineapple you know, bread. And it's, it's even hard to if, slice. If we were having tea, yeah. high tea every that afternoon, would be good. you could do Just it then. But, yeah. but uh, you know, I have <laughs> been to some real fine restaurants, I think with you in the last six mm -hmm. months, where they served an assortment of breads. Yeah. And, and some they of them had, were very yeah, sweet and fruit cakey. Breads, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. So, so I just wondered, I, I had... The banana bread is not something I serve at home, but maybe I will because this recipe is so easy. But, oh, before you leave, would you validate my parking? I think I have over parked out in the parking lot. <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later, sweetheart. Uh, you want to start? Yeah, you need three ripe bananas, and they really have to be brown. <laughs> she ugly. kept it too. <laughs> ugly, ugly brown. Ugly brown. And uh, we're going to put them in a bowl and mash them up, and I'll peel them and just break them up into little pieces. And you can usually get this kind of a banana real cheap because they don't look good. And most people, including me, I don't like a banana that's dead ripe. I like it kind of just a little bit on the green side. And that's all I'm going to do. Mr. Greenside, didn't he used to uh, be on that uh, morning no, no. show, Mr. That Greenside? Mr. Green Tops. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Green Tops. Well, on this uh, featherweight pancake, start. you start out by separating three eggs at birth. Oh, no, that's <laughs> always so cruel. Well, and we get letters about it. It is terrible, it. it really is. So anyway, you got to separate your eggs, three of them. And what you do is, of course, that means you put your whites on one side and, and you put your yolks on the oh, other dear. side. Oh, dear. Now, I got a little bit of the yolk in there, and you can just scoop that out. See that? And just scoop it out with a little trick of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Do another one here. I had a terrible job on these eggs today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not in an egg separating mood, I believe. I have done a better job in the past than I have today. Three of them. And here's the third one for those of you that are nervously counting. Well, look at that. Did you ever in your life, I think I could have done a little better job. 
chomp on that. Now I'm going to give you a little tip at this point. Oh, you're going to be what you're going to be doing is you're going to be fluffing both of these up. But if you start with your whites first, then you won't have to wash your dashers. Dashers? Yes, your beaters. Dashers are for ice cream machines, aren't they? Ice cream mm. machines. If you do your whites first, then you can go to your yolks and you won't mess them up and use them the same ones without washing them. If you do it in the other direction, you got to take them off and wash them or you'll ruin your egg whites. Did you know that, Doris? Follow along with me, or Dolor Dolores. <laughs> All the wrong name. So anyway, the first thing you've got to do is beat these whites up. And it says, beat the egg whites stiff but not dry. You don't want them to get real too terribly dry. And while you're doing this, it also says to uh, heat up your girdle. Oh, your griddle, I'm sorry. Oh. Anyway. So what we'll do here is we'll just diddle these around a little bit until they get just start getting just a little bit stiff, but not terribly stiff and dry. And there's no hurry in this process. It's loud, tedious, and irritating. Back to labor. Well, oh, it is irritating. In mine, I have now mashed these bananas within an inch of their life using a potato masher. If you want to get real fancy and use up more dishes, you can do it in a food processor What'd you say? or in a mixer. <laughs> oh, well, that takes care of the bananas. And to the banana puree, we're going to add two cups of flour. So let me get my flour back here. And we're going to put a lot of stuff in and mix it up, and then we'll put it in the bread pan, and that's it. This is so easy, any fool could do it, including most of you. Well, do you think you could maybe stretch it a little? We only have roughly 27 well, more minutes to go. Well, you know, it takes, a, it takes a while to, <laughs> to measure out it, says, stuff. And there it is. That's it. <laughs> Two minutes into the show. Let's One do a replay on that pouring again. <laughs> well, this bag doesn't want to do right. Oh, well, that's all right. Do right. Mm-hmm. There okay. we go. And exact measurements are not needed. Okay, very good. So that, well, hey. that's really helpful. There you and go. now I've got to put in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. There's one. One. Two. Two. <laughs> I know that makes some of you real nervous, but honestly, you don't really have to, to do it if you already know what you're doing. All right. Well, that's all right. Some of us were nervous when we came in. Now, before we even started, so it doesn't Now matter. you add a half a cup container of lemon yogurt, except they didn't have lemon, and I had to use uh, peach. You know what store I went to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it has got to be such a running joke on this show that when I go in, even the employees scream and laugh now. They say, what are you doing at this low-down place? They actually call it that. I was sort of nervous when I found that uh, the owners of that store were at another major shopping store one day. Yes. I found, found them shopping someone else's grocery store. Don't you think that's kind of unusual? If you own a grocery store, it's you go to someone else's store to shop. And I, now I'm going to put in a handful of golden raisins. Yes, these are the same ones that you soak in gin to cure your arthritis. And it says a handful. so. I tried it for a year, and my arthritis went away, but my liver did too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Probably because I squeezed the things out and threw away the raisins. Do you want to do something over there? No, I'm just having oh. a great time standing here. Well, yeah, I, I, I really do need to get going on something here. Now, if you look in here, deep down in here, this is kind of the way this needs to be. Just the, the weights are just so they stand up just a little tad, just a little tiny bit like that. You want them dry. Now take the same thing over here, and you now beat the egg yolks. And I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in there while I'm doing it. Quarter of a teaspoon, give or take just a little bit. Not too much. And you just mix them for a while. It says you uh, beat until lemon color. Now, if your television is adjusted properly, that probably is a lemon color, although I think that I can't tell. There's a 
there's all of that. Now that's the end of the noisy part of this, thank heavens. I'm gonna take these feeders off. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get the griddle over here. I've got a real fine griddle. I'm gonna start heating that up very slowly. Mm. And mm. the next part, which is really strange and very, very fun, I, this is weird, that's all I got to say. It calls for cottage cheese, and it didn't say whether it was small curd or large curd, but I can't imagine that it would make much difference because now what you do is you take three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese, that's about that much plus a little bit, and you mash the curds up with a fork. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it calls for, Mr. In Johnson. The well, you know, they're being harassed by old Saddam. And Who, the curds? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, this is what they look like when he gets finished with Now them. they're over here being so abused make on sure, national now television. Now, I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, those of you out there in TV land could probably help me with this. Is there such thing as a curd masher? <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> if there is, I have never seen one, so just use a fork. I don't seem to be accomplishing too much because I started with small curds. Maybe that's the secret right there. And I don't know how much of this you have to do, for heaven's sake. What kind of a pancake calls for cottage cheese anyway? Besides this one, I mean. Well, I am just absolutely entranced. I can tell everyone's fascinated with it. I don't think, Hell, you know, Larry used to get smacked by his Aunt Tootsie for doing, for, for this doing very stuff thing. like that with That's his right. food at the dinner table. All right, go ahead, Johnson. All right, sure well, now I'm adding a half a cup of sugar. There it is. And again, you don't have to measure that all that carefully. And finally, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And there that is, and some a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm using up the tail end of a great big container of cinnamon that I had for Christmas. Put it all in, and now you have to mix it all together up real nice into a lovely batter. So I'm going to be stirring batter for a while if you've got something to do over there. Well, yeah, the next thing is you take a quarter of a cup of flour and you put it into the egg yolks. And also, you take the now mushied up curds, uh, cottage cheese, and you fold that in there also. And I've already put a little bit of salt in there, and that basically is, well, in a couple of minutes, then we'll also fold in the white. So right now, what I have to do is sort of mix this around real good getting the flour and the egg and the, and the curds. And you may want to mash those a little bit more at this point, like maybe around the edge. That'll just sort of smooth that stuff out. I think the object of the game here is to get these curds as small as you can and get this cheese worked in as best you can. And that seems to be working around the edge of the bowl like that. So maybe that's maybe that's the secret, Mr. Johnson. Maybe well, I've just discovered well, Larry, the secrets of cottage you've cheese. used the curds, what'd you do with the whey? <laughs> oh, little Miss Muffet little over Ms. here. Muffet. Now, the next thing you have to do, oh, this thing is heating up too much. I've got a little Pam, Pammy Poo, and I'll put that on there. And in a couple of minutes, we're going to try one of these babies. Right. We'll be setting off the alarms here at the station. Remember the last time hose companies one mm -hmm. through eight showed up. Now, the next thing you've got to do is fold your whites in there very gently. Just fold it in, fold them and fold them and fold them. And I'll be folding them for a while, but not okay. stapling. Go ahead. All right. Now, I've mixed all of my bananas and everything up, and now I have to put it over here in a loaf pan. And you can use whatever size loaf pan you have. One of those smaller ones would be just fine. Yeah, it's getting too hot. I want it that way. <laughs> yeah. Are we ready here? Yep. I need to do something. Now okay, what you do ahead. is just drop little bitty ones. We're going to make little silver dollar ones. Just little tiny ones. This thing seems to be just about, just about right. There we go. And just stand by. Boy, I didn't do much of a job on making them round, did I? And let's hope for the best. I wonder if these are like other pan. Yes, they are. They're like other pancakes. When you start seeing these little bubbles appear in the top, it means that they've gotten done. What? 
get the bowl out of the way. Yeah, get when this you this out of the way. Tiny bubbles. The flipper. Yeah, it makes the iris good. Well, I need the flipper. I don't care about your iris. Oh, what a terrible thing he Oh, look at that. Johnson, look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Whoops. Fly you well, that one. Well, it needs don't to favor go just nobody. A couple of minutes, but isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. It really is. Now here His is a, iris is shutting a down. beautiful pan full of batter. Right now. Oh, it's sliding out onto the floor, Joe. Oh, no, <laughs> but it didn't. Well, I caught it just. But show it again. Out. Well, you still can. Yeah. Well, we'll just let it go. <laughs> and you bake this for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Somebody will bake it. Well, I cannot believe this. This is just absolutely stunning. Look at these things. Mm -hmm. Do we have any butter standing by to slather on this? Butter, strawberry, jelly, and fig preserves. Oh, for heaven's sake, she brought everything, including the kitchen sink. Oh, I love fig preserves. So anyway, I, I guess you just, they're all puffed up there, and probably what I'll do is turn them over one more time just to make sure they're done inside. I don't think there's anything worse than digging into a big old pancake and, and have it real doughy. Doughy. You want to give your recipe, Yeah, Mr. I'll Johnson? give mine. Right. Mine's Brenda's banana bread, two cups of flour, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one half cup of lemon yogurt, handful of golden raisins, three brown bananas, one quarter cup sugar, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, and one knife. teaspoon or whatever you like Sorry. of cinnamon. And that's, that's the recipe. Well, mine uh, is uh, three eggs separated, quarter teaspoon salt, quarter of a cup of flour, and three quarters cup cottage cheese mushed all up real good, and that's it. And look at these things. Aren't they pretty? Oh, they are. Just as cute as can be. And you know, they really are just as fluffy. And of course, you know, fluffy oh, is one fluffy. of my favorite words. Fluffy was my favorite dog, and it's also my, now it's now, it's my favorite pancake. And uh, so I'm just going to keep making these. If you'll hold yeah. the microphone for the very lovely Miss Doris, who's going to come in and explain her recipe, I will just continue making these things left and right. Oh, look at that. Welcome back, I mean. Okay, I had to make a pineapple uh, nut bread, and it it, um, it was very hard to cut. I don't know if it's because we have knives down here that aren't too sharp, <laughs> or the right kind, or if it's crumbly. But it um, it's it's called quick banana nut bread. It's got a, a fourth a cup of butter, a third a cup of sugar, two eggs, two cups of Bisquick baking mix, a half a teaspoon salt. One cup crushed pineapple undrained, one cup of chopped walnuts. And uh, you mix it all together and bake it in a 9 by 5 by 7 loaf pan for 45 minutes. I found it took about five more minutes uh, to, to get it done. And it says let it cool completely on rack. And I think if you try moving ahead of time, it's just going to crumble all apart. Mm -hmm. So give yourself enough time to, to, to use this. And <laughs> don't do what I did this morning. I just saw. Drain, undrained pineapple and dump the whole thing in there. And that's three cups of pineapple. Oh. And the thing wasn't getting done, wasn't getting done. So I had a quick call a neighbor, get some more pineapple, fed the other one to the crows. Oh, no. <laughs> and brought this one in. So make sure you follow the directions. But I feel like I'm getting old enough where I can make these mistakes oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> You can. Boy, these sure are fluffy. Fluffy little. How do they taste? They're real fluffy. <laughs> Uh-oh. They taste real fluffy. No, they don't have any bad taste. They just don't have much taste, period. Mm -hmm. They're just real fluffy. Well, but I'm, if you put lots of butter and stuff on them, they'll be wonderful. I can oh, assure you. Oh, you know, we almost forgot the Cook Sisters are here. Oh, are they coming by again yes. today? Oh, how wonderful. Run them on well, I'm going to keep boys. running pancakes until I'm totally out Cake of... Uh, cake Cake uh, Or uh, <laughs> whatever you are when you get finished with uh, pancakes. They're going real and well. While they're here, I'll slice the banana bread. And here they come right now to dispense with some fabulous information. Hey, sis. Yes. You know, last time you made that cookie dough and how what a mess it was to slice it. Yes, I was crumbled and everything. Yeah. What did you start to say? Well, I say, you know, I went to Doris Ford University of Cookies. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Did yes. you did you get a certificate? No, she was out of paper that day. Oh, that's terrible. Well, Harold has one, I'm oh. sure. Anyway, you can avoid that if you just take your knife and put it under hot water periodically. Oh, a hot knife? Cut slice clean. Your, that's right. Oh, that's, I'm Tootsie Cook. And I'm Sister Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. Sisters. 
Well, I am doing my final round of these, and as you can see, they're absolutely just gorgeous. They really are. And if you just took these, of course, you know, pancakes, you don't want them to lay around very long. Some people will make them up and then throw them in the microwave later on, and I think that's disgusting. But pancakes are meant to come right off the griddle just like that when they're fresh. And I am a pretty good pancake maker. I make them from scratch at home anyway, so this was a pretty good... <clears throat> you make a lot of waffles, Pay, pay no too, attention to that you? one, ladies and gentlemen. I was, while I was talking, that one totally flew to pieces. So anyway, that's what they look like. I'm going to go over here now with the, uh, Mr. Johnson, and uh, we're going to find out what all this stuff is about. Well, we do have... Look at this, all these little homemade jams mm -hmm. and preserves and stuff. Now, what is... Uh, well, here, let me give you a little fluffy yeah. pancake. You need to put just a wee little bit of something on that. We won't say what. In case, Here's in case your doctor is watching. Table spread. What is this? But is this the one that you made with the? Yes. No, that Doris made that one. Would you care for the mm -hmm. for table well, spread? Well, Doris, that's good. I like that. Ooh, I want this. I can't tell if it's a cake or a bread. I'm a little confused. And we'll just. Do a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. I think all of this would be better with jam on it, <laughs> but I'm not sure. And this is the thing that the you banana made. bread. Well, it certainly is real heavy. It's heavy. In fact, no one will ever accuse this banana bread of being light and fluffy. Mm -mm. It's real good, but mm. a little milk would be real nice. Yep. I you know. Um, Brenda said that this recipe was so good for you because it didn't have any eggs in it. Mm -hmm. I think it should have mm -hmm. some eggs in it. Because mm -hmm. it, it is just, it's not leaden, it's just goopy. Doris, did you make these big preserves? Yeah. What are you eating those preserves on? On my pancakes? Uh -huh. What do you think of those pancakes? Pancakes are real Now, nice. isn't that interesting? Uh -huh. Well, I'll just have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any on you? No, didn't get any on me. <laughs> I'll just have to tell you that. Landed right on my knuckles. Mm -mm -mm. Is this some of that freezer jam stuff yeah. that you put in the freezer? Well, could you explain to us how you make that, Dora? <laughs> it's real good, I tell you. Mm. I have to go back. I'm burning my... Follow did, me, did follow you, me. Did uh, you, Doris, did you... Pick your own figs. Yeah, my has a oh, these are beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. They're just perfect in every way, and I've turned that off now, and you can pull that off and serve it to your friends. We'll be serving it to one, mm -hmm. two, three, four of our staff members when we get off here. Anyway, that's that. Ooh, I didn't the, want them to burn. The pineapple nut bread is delicious, too. I think it is. I think it's quite delicious. Well, our little bread thing has worked out just extremely well. These you must are the kinds of things you could, you could uh, serve for a brunch and, you know, not have to get up at the crack of dawn in order to have ready. Huh? I said... <laughs> what did you say? That, uh... <laughs> you, I, uh, uh, Something about the crack of dawn. Oh, yeah. You don't have to get up too early to make oh. these because they're so easy. <laughs> You're right about that. Especially those little mm -hmm. fluffy pancakes. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have another one of those. Oh, here, have some more. we got fresh ones. Look at this. Here, here comes Doris. She's serving them just like they're supposed to be. Get over here. <laughs> just like they're supposed to be served. Would you like a full stack or a half stack? Just, just one. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. Uh -huh. Funny term. Full stack or a half stack. And could I have the table spread? You certainly could. And here, let me grab a little bite of it off too and and you all can have some too. I we have you enough time. You could all here. come down to the station and eat with us right now if you wanted to. This show's going on far too long. But anyway, well it was uh, a whole bunch of good recipes. Mm. And we're well, glad you've done. Now why do you suppose you put cottage cheese? Oh you must be kidding. Another minute. One minute. Why do you suppose you put cottage cheese in these? It was an act of God and the woman just said, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Doris. Well, well, I thought I'd come and be as you got another minute. When, <laughs> we have five or ten, <laughs> well, I think. Well, when Larry was uh, doing his eggs, one hint that you could do is when you're at home, 
Don't break your eggs up into the same bowl. Break all your eggs into an individual bowl. So if you do have your egg yolk run over, you like only have it in one egg. Like I did. And yeah, and not the so whole it, thing. That's right. Thank so you. when you're at home, it'd be a lot better. The to do egg that. lady has spoken, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and speaking of the egg lady, oh, yeah. our friend Mary King, mm -hmm. is, has she died or something? You know, I'm not sure. Um, she was a little cracked the last time. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We got to go. Thank heavens. We're being forced to leave now because we're out of time. But anyway, thanks for coming by.